all Christians are familiar with the word pulpit. It is easily recognizable when entering any sanctuary and is associated with the pastor or minister, who typically delivers a sermon or a teaching standing behind it. In Nehemiah 8 and 4 we read, And Ezra the scribe stood upon a pulpit of wood. The NIV version of the Bible uses the word platform instead of pulpit. In either case, it is the place from which God's word is read and or expounded upon. The earliest sermons were delivered from the bishop's chair, called the cathedra. Sometime later, the ambo, which was a raised desk, was used for the teaching of God's word. As early as 250 AD, the ambo was replaced by the pulpit. Our word pulpit comes from the Latin word pulpitum, which means literally a stage. With the coming of the Reformation in the early 16th century, the pulpit became the central piece of furniture in the church building. The pulpit elevates the clergy to a position of prominence and is the place from which God's word is delivered. I would like to take a slightly different approach to the word pulpit. I would like to keep its meaning as a place from which God's word is ministered, but apply that definition in a slightly different way. In Matthew the 28th chapter, the 19th and 20th verses, we read the following. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. We, as believing Christians, who call Jesus Lord, are to go and make disciples. Please notice, Jesus did not say, when you feel like it, or only on sunny days. He made it a command. I know what you're thinking. I'm not an evangelist or a preacher. But consider for a moment the following, which is attributed to Francis of Assisi. Preach the gospel and when necessary use words. Scripture says it this way in James 1 and 22. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Translation, let your actions speak louder than words. The way in which you act and treat others can be an extremely effective way to preach the gospel. When put in that context, we all can be ministers of God's word. Now, regarding your pulpit, remember the definition I used previously, a place from which God's word is ministered. Who says that must be on a raised platform in the building we call the church? Why couldn't it be your home, place of business, a golf course, grocery store, any place you, as a believing Christian, gifted with the Holy Spirit, happens to be. God and His Word was never intended to be ministered only in the building we call the church and only by those we call ministers. My prayer is that each of you heeds the Word of God and allows your lives to speak of the love and grace Jesus has bestowed upon you. For when you do, you will in fact be preaching the Gospel. God bless and Shalom.